<laughs> he got it for me. I'm like, is that a vape? Sneakers. Double chocolate, snickerdoodle, French vanilla. Oh, my confirmation number is there. Don't look at it. Smell. Familial love knows no age. Get a little booty workout, you know? And it smells hella coconutty. My mom got me Pictionary. Hello. This is Taylor. Welcome to what I got for Christmas. I was debating on whether to make this video or not because on one hand, I feel like I'm just way too old to be making this shit. But on the other hand, I see these videos, like what I got for Christmas all over YouTube. I think they're a lot of fun. Even in my elderly age, I am still the police in my household, the Christmas spirit police. I make sure everyone's, or I try to make sure everyone's having a good time. So F it, I'm gonna make the video. <laughs> and before we jump in, I hope it goes without saying that I'm very grateful. Forget the presents. I'm happy I was able to come home and even spend time with my family during the holiday. I know that wasn't the case for a lot of people. With that, let's hit the like button. Do it, thank you. Now that you've hit the like button, first present is this one that my brother gave me. I'm obsessed with the cover. There's like texture and everything. There and back, Photographs from the Edge by Jimmy Chin. If you don't know who this is, Jimmy Chin, world-class photographer, director, skier, rock climber. He directed Free Solo, which is that insane movie of Alex Honnold free soloing El Cap, which is just this like 3000 foot uh, you fucking granite cliff in Yosemite. It goes through just a lot of the places that he's photographed and been. So absolutely love that. All right, next present. These are in no particular order, but like I said, I'm kind of a child and my mom got me Pictionary, <laughs> but I'm hardly a child. You guys, I played for the first time ever, or I guess first time since I was a little kid. I played with my parents and my brother the other day and it was so much fun. And I think my mom picked up on me enjoying it because she bought me my very own <laughs> Pictionary set. What a fun game. So I'll bring that to New York with me. All right, next item. What should I choose? <laughs> all right, let's do a tasty one. My mom got me this little advent calendar, but these are all hot chocolates. Double chocolate, snickerdoodle, French vanilla, toasted marshmallow. As you can see, one is already missing. I had to try the toasted marshmallow. It was freaking delicious. But she knows I love hot chocolate and pretty much every year she gets me some kind of array of hot chocolates. And there's no mint ones here, which I love. Sorry, I'm sure a lot of you like mint. I don't like mint and chocolate. I don't want a minty drink. Uh-uh, no thank you. All right, what next? Okay, I'm just gonna pull out the big guns. To me, these are big guns. Sneakers. Let me, a little context. For the last, like, a million years, I've only worn Converse. I like how they look and I'm still gonna wear them, don't get me wrong, but they offer no support. After a long day of walking in Converse, my feet hurt, and I feel like I'm too young for my feet to hurt, or my back to hurt, but that happens too. <laughs> anyway, I asked for a pair of like real white sneakers. I feel like it's time to just get ones with a little bit more support. So these are the Madewell white sneakers. They were on sale. They might still be if you're curious, go check it out. They have a bit of a sole, so I'm 5'8", and in these I'm like 5'9 and a half. I don't mind it, but they also just offer more support. And I feel like after a day of like walking around New York in these, my feet will hurt less than the Converse. So yeah. Okay, next one is a personal one. My mother has known that since I was a kid, I've just been obsessed with Australia. I don't know why. Maybe it's because Chris Hemsworth is from Australia. But besides Chris Hemsworth, even before I knew who he was, my favorite animal, you know how you have a favorite animal when you're a kid? Koala, since day one. Baby, if you guys know my stuffed animal, baby is a koala bear. And I just knew that they live in Australia. And I think because of that, I've just always been obsessed. I don't know. My mom got this in Australia. It's a kangaroo shirt. She got it when she was, I don't know, I assume in the 80s. I'll have to ask her. But she just knows I love this shirt and every time she wears it I jokingly say can I have that shirt and of course she always said no until for Christmas she decided to give it to me this will probably be my sleep shirt or just an everyday shirt I can tuck it into my Levi's make it look cool we'll see so keep an eye out for this in my Instagram photos in future videos okay next this is a fun one John my brother got me this <laughs> he got it for me I'm like is that a vape is that a weed <laughs> Chris is that a weed no this is a crayon Anyway, it is not a weed and it is not a vape because I don't do that. It is a, can you see that? You can see the smoke. A USB rechargeable, how do you even describe this? It's like a little taser. <laughs> no, but it lights candles that puts this little fire. I'm gonna sound like an idiot trying to explain it. How cool is that? And you recharge it via USB. I think it's awesome. Moving along. Oh, I feel like this is going by so fast, but it's not, I got so much nice stuff. All right, the next one is, I'm gonna save that one for last because that's a really good one. They're all good. Anyway, next one, these are good too. You guys, brand new Allbirds. If you don't know what Allbirds are, Allbirds, if you recognize the logo, they are extremely comfortable shoes. They're my everyday walking shoes. I have them in black and I wear them pretty much every single day. So I wanted them in white just to get a little variety. So yeah, catch these in my next videos. <laughs> oh, the next one's also kind of personal. 
Cheesecake Factory gift certificate. Great value, big portions, leftovers every time. Can't really go wrong. Really sweet, thank you, mother. Oh, my confirmation number is there, don't look at it. I'm a big fan. In fact, you can see me going to the Cheesecake Factory in my Boston vlog. I've been on YouTube long enough now where things are coming full circle. <laughs> All right, what else? Ooh, there's a few more. All right, the next things are very Christmassy too. Bath and Body Works candles. These are the famous, I call them famous just because so many people have them. They're the three wick candles. And my mom got me two, she might've got me more than two. I think she's told me to pick out three or four actually. She went crazy during candle day, which is when these three wick candles go on sale because they're not cheap otherwise. But she just got a bunch of them. She got one for my aunt. She got one for my brother's lovely girlfriend, some for the neighbors. Anyway, so I got first pick on the flavors and this one's probably my favorite. This is Fall Farmhouse and it just, it smells a little smoky. I do like kind of smokier scents more so than super sweet vanilla ones, I guess, although that's fine too. But this one's a little smoky, kind of like a fire. And then this one is Spiced Apple Toddy. <laughs> Smell. Smells good, huh? It smells like a candy apple, but not overly sweet again. So I love these ones. And then I think I have a couple more to pick out. All right, next is a beauty item. I don't know, shampoo and conditioner. Shea Moisture, I'm sure you recognize these bottles. Maybe you don't if you're a dude, I don't know. It's just a really popular and like pretty well-priced shampoo and conditioner that's supposed to be especially good for curls and waves. I don't have curls, but I do have naturally wavy hair. Probably not right now because I haven't washed it in an undisclosed amount of days. And it smells hella coconutty, like not just a hint of coconut. We're talking this smells like if you were to go to the beach and crack one open and then, you know, oh, that smells good. With a little bit of hibiscus, so just very tropical. I'll feel like I'm in Hawaii when I use it. And some people have asked me for my hair routine, so maybe I'll include this in a video where I talk about my hair routine. You know, if it does indeed work, we'll see. All right, next item is this little beauty item. It's the Laneige. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's this really trendy like lip sleeping mask. I feel like this is a cult favorite among people, among, I don't know, I've seen it on the internet a lot. But my lips just get so dry. Yeah, I don't need to talk about how dry my lips get, but they do get dry and they get chapped even though I put Aquaphor on all day, blah, blah, blah. So I asked for this lip mask and it smells delicious. I used it last night. I think it worked pretty well. Not much else to say about it, but thanks mother. <laughs> Next one, I'm sure a lot of you guys will appreciate because I have a financially savvy audience. This, while it might not look like it's related to finance, it is, let me tell you why. Currently my phone, which I'm filming with so I can't show you, maybe I shouldn't say this in public, Public, but my phone case holds two cards. But since I'm gonna start credit card churning in 2022, I need a phone case that can hold more cards. And I'm sure one day when I become an adult, I will actually get a wallet as well. But until then, this holds a bunch more cards. And yeah, it's a little bulkier, but that's okay. So just like my ID and then like whichever Amex Platinum Chase Sapphire cards I decide to get. And it comes with this little shoulder strap too. My mom said it was cheap, so not like a huge commitment, but I will use it. Okay, what next? But this one is actually not my present. My parents got this for my brother, but I liked it so much. I just wanted to show you. It's another coffee table book. Destinations of a lifetime, 225 of the world's most amazing places. I might buy one for myself, we'll see. All right, next is the Elta MD Tinted Sunscreen. I've heard a lot of dermatologists on YouTube talk about how good of a sunscreen this is. And I really wanted to try it because the sunscreen that I use now, if you care, has avobenzone in it, which is the ingredient, if I'm not mistaken, that makes your eyes burn. If like some of it gets into your eye, let's say you rub your eye or something. And this one is actually zinc oxide, which is the best stuff you can get. And it's also tinted to offset the white cast. You know, when you rub in your sunscreen and it's super white, it's tinted. So that doesn't happen, which is great. I used it this morning, no complaints so far. I'll keep you updated. Skincare routine to come soon because it has been requested and I'm flattered that you guys wanna see that. What next? Okay, this one's just like a necessity. It is a makeup mirror. I haven't given you guys an official apartment tour yet, my apartment in New York, but I will soon. And one thing I'm still missing in that apartment is a mirror to do my makeup and stuff. I just use the mirrors that I mounted on my closet door, which th that works perfectly fine, but you know, I kinda wanted an actual mirror. It's actually really large. I'm gonna have to screw new holes in my bookshelf to lower the top shelf, if that makes sense, to make room for this one, but that won't be that hard. I have a drill and a screwdriver, thank you very much. All right, next we have these resistance bands for working out. I go to the gym a lot in my apartment building and you know, I use the weights a ton, but there's just certain workouts I wanna do with resistance bands, so I asked for these. Get a little booty workout, you know? All right, what next? I got the Echo Dot 
for. These are a pretty good price. And like I mentioned, maybe I didn't mention, I'm gonna link all these things in the description down below. So, you know, if you wanna check anything out. But I realized I should have a little speaker because just when I play music in the background of, you know, if I'm working or, you know, doing whatever, I just feel a lot less alone if I have a little music on. So this will help me with that. And it will also help me set my alarms in the morning and it might be listening to me. But next, kind of another Christmassy thing. But for me, I think lights, it's cool to have lights up all year round. I have fairy lights in my apartment in New York and my mom just got me some more. These ones are a little more Christmassy because they're like in the shape of a star, but I'm gonna put them up and leave them up year round. I don't care if it's Christmassy. Stay tuned to see that. So I like those a lot. All right, next thing, we are coming down to the wire. Next thing is not in its proper box. It's in the Madewell box that my sneakers came in, but it's a very nice gift from my mother. It is a ninja smoothie no <laughs> blender Bruh. it's a ninja smoothie it has fruit and it has mold in it and that is for my new york apartment because i don't have a blender there and that will bring my breakfast game to a whole new level because it's so easy to put together healthy smoothies and pack in some good proteins and micronutrients and still make it taste really good so we'll do that in some future vlogs the next ones are my mom got me these flameless candle lights which let me show you you know i think they're just like these we even have them in our own house these are out of battery and dusty. They're fake candles, but when you turn them, it's kind of lame if I don't show you, but whatever it's, you know, it looks like a nice candle. And there's just a bunch of those in here that my mom said I could put around my apartment. I think they'll look nice, so. And the final gift, which is maybe my favorite one, my NYX Play. You guys, this is super cool. This is a smart photo frame where you basically have an email address associated with the photo frame and anyone with that email can send photos to that email address and it pops up in real time and like adds to the Rolodex of photos on this photo frame. And if it says anything about me being a hundred years old, this photo frame apparently is very, very popular among the elderly who live in retirement homes because the grandchildren can send photos to their grandparents. In fact, my grandmother who's 97 years old has one of these and I just send new photos to it all the time. I think she likes it. I hope she does. But I said that I would like one too at 24 years of age because familial love knows no age. So that'll be fun. I expect to get many an ugly selfie. Well guys, I hope you had a great holiday, a great Christmas or whatever else you celebrate and have a fun yet safe, yet fun yet safe New Year's Eve. Don't drink and drive, but have a good time. And I'll see you guys in 2022. And always don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye. so good. <laughs> that one's really good too. That's like an apple. Is it, are these sexy enough to be in a thumbnail? Oh, it smells so good. Haha, <laughs> I did. It's inside the smoothie cup. I knew it was in there. All right, sorry. Ugh. Okay. I knew it was in there. All right, next present is, let's do a fun one. I mean, they're all fun, but some are really fun. <laughs>